Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic bar graph. Now, this data, these numbers, can actually come from your Webflow collections and displayed in a bar graph like this um, using collection lists. All right, so here's how to do it. All right, let's go ahead and do this. First thing you need to do is create some fake data. So I'm gonna go to my collections manager and I'm gonna call the collection fake data. Let's go ahead and add a number field. We're gonna call this bar percentage. And the percentage of the bar is going to be between zero and 100. Save field and create collection. Now let's go ahead and add 10 dummy items. And we can look at their numbers. Here we go, 1490. Yeah. Uh, do we want one? Let's change the one to seven. Okay, cool. All right, so there we are. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and just start making our page. Now, um, let's just focus on the form first before the function. I'm gonna put in a container and I'm going to move that container down, eh, something like that. And in here, I'm going to put in a collection list, pull the data from fake data, and now we can go ahead and put in the bars. So I'm gonna drag in a div block and call this the bar. You can call it whatever you want, okay? And the height, I'm going to set it to 30. And I'm going to move this way from all the other bars. So I'm going to set this to 10 on the margins up top and bottom. We'll set the background color, whatever the bar color. Are. It's going to be orange. Cool. And let's go ahead and set the border radius. Just say three. Uh, we can make it more pill-like. There we go. Cool, we'll set it to 20, like that, okay? Awesome, so now we have all these bars, but now you're saying, hey, wait, the width of each one is 100%. Well, that's because the width is 100%, it's sent to auto. So what we need to do to take that dynamic data is to add in some code. And to do this, we're going to delete the bar, but don't worry, the style of the bar is saved right here. But we're gonna call that style by adding an embed to each of the collection items. And now we're gonna put in some code. We're gonna add a div and the class name is the bar. And in that tag, we're gonna say style equals width, add field bar percentage, percentage, semicolon, double quote, and end the div. And there we go. We have our bar graph. Now, if you don't want if you don't want this to be, you know, horizontal like this, say you want it like flipped, then we're going to have to do this, okay? Let's go ahead and let me take this. Let's let's do this over, but we're going to copy and paste it. We're going to do um, where the bars are vertical instead of horizontal, all right? So let me delete these and let's create a new, a new bar. We're gonna call this the vertical bar, okay? And now the height is going to be the actual dynamic part. So we're gonna leave that to auto, but the width, we're gonna give it 30 pixels. And the background color, I'm gonna choose the same one. There we go. Cool. And uh, to make sure that they're all on the same line, I'm going to set this to flex. Okay, and it's horizontal. And making sure that all of them, hold on, let's set a height. I just wanna make sure that they're all there. Yeah, they're all there, side by side. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that height. And let's go ahead and set the margins on both sides to 10 so they're not pushing against each other. So you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay. 
So they're all there. So our style is ready. So now all I have to do is, again, delete this, go back to my collection item, add in an embed, add some code, div class equals vertical bar, and then the style is height. Instead of width, it's height. Uh, bar percentage okay and I'm gonna print the percent sign div now this will not work I'm just thinking about it now it will not work because it's getting the percentage height of its parent but if I click on this the parent it has no height so I'm going to have to set a height I'm gonna set it to 500 pixels and there we go now I don't see them. Why is that? Let me see here. Let's double check. Open code editor. Height vertical bar. Did I type it right? Vertical bar. Huh. Oh, I see. So this isn't the actual parent of the div that I did. It was actually this HTML embed. So let me redo this. Let me remove the height off of this collection item. I'm going to set the height to this right here. I'm going to call this vertical bar wrapper. And I'll set that to 500. There we go. Now it's working. But now it's kind of upside down. Okay. So what I need to do is for here, for the flex, notice how I have it aligned stretch. Let me see if I can put it bottom. That didn't work either. No. So what do I need to do? Okay. Let's see here. I'm thinking I need to do this and push it down. There we go. So what I had to do was set the vertical bar wrapper to flex. And so all its child elements, which is the div that we hard coded, is pushed down to the bottom. Okay. Let me make sure that I can see some of the bottom. There we go. So it looks like I needed to put some margin at the bottom for the collection list. Okay. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for another tutorial, go ahead and put that in the comments too, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to check out theoverflow.io where I'll be posting cool free Webflow resources that you can take advantage of. And yeah, if you want to support me, go ahead and click the subscribe button, the like, and the notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.